Dave Mazza, welcome back to TFNN. Great day to have you. Yeah, certainly, Tom. Uh, nice to be back. Absolutely. So, hey, we got to, you know, and, and folks, I took this right off the Direction website. Uh, I think we got to start here, Dave. You know, the bottom line, uh, I mean, the market goes topside today in a big way. Um, you know, it, great news on the vaccine front, no doubt. And I know that, uh, you know, bottom line, you get a lot of different uh, ETFs inside the biotech space. So let's talk about it. Yeah, so we do. So uh, for for the traders out there, uh, you know, we have two uh, two biotech uh, uh, biotech ETFs, uh, uh, Lab B and Lab D. Uh, and look today, Tom, like all of our lineup, it, it doesn't really matter if we're talking energy financials, uh, the biotechs, as you just asked about, we're seeing a massive increase in volume today uh, because this is some of the biggest divergence in performance that we've seen across various sectors. Uh, really, in a, uh, really. Uh, going this year, going back to March, uh, if not uh, in some cases, you know, uh, biggest ever divergences performance wise, uh, if looking at index data, you know, going back decades. Yes. And, you know, folks, when we talk the um, the triples uh, with direction with Dave, it's important to understand that they, they you know, they educate each and every day that these are daily investment vehicles. And you can see like a day like today, this has been a trader's paradise, Dave, no doubt for, you know, traders that are out here, because what you had folks is that, yeah, we had the S&Ps up 160. You get down to 90. We're at 100 right now. And so let's talk a little bit about the S&Ps your leverage products there and the NQs and leverage products there because you just as you said the divergence out here is amazing today right yeah so really what we're seeing kind of from a thematic perspective is a reversal uh, in much of the momentum that was in kind of your high secular growth names really embodied by the Nasdaq um, but those are your tech your consumer discretionaries and a reversal into areas that have been out of favor um, so whether that's small caps, financials, energy in particular, yes. uh, you know, names that have been beaten down because, of course, the vaccine is a great sign, not just for humanity uh, and, and everyone's health, um, but for these areas of the market that had tons of question marks out there. So yet yeah, today, of course, we're seeing massive uh, performance in our in our uh, in our three X vehicles uh, or two X vehicles again for traders to take advantage of those moves on a daily basis. So not long term, uh, they shouldn't be intended to be long term holdings in any way, shape, or form. But if you're a trader and want to take advantage of the moves in the S and P 500 on the positive side, that's uh, SPXL. And then if you want to take the contrarian view, which actually we're seeing today, uh, at least in flows, uh, a lot of money is moving into SPXS. Uh, people may be setting up for tomorrow a bit of a reversal, which is sort of interesting. Now, folks, what, what, what Dave just said here, this is so cool, and you can go to their website every night, and it'll show you where the flows are going, because there, there's no doubt, you know, in the morning show, Dave, I was talking about the aspect is that it's really hard to comprehend sometimes that you get a market that goes dramatically higher, and then depending on how long people have been in the market, you know, uh, those S&Ps, I mean, they went down 45 points pretty quick off the high. And like when you go back, whether it's, I'm not quite sure when it had sell the news, but that is, you know, that is really hard to comprehend when you're kind of a new trader, right? I mean, it's like, okay, well, this should go, uh, this should go up 200 S&P points instead of 150. Yeah, well, it, you know, if, if you were to open up your, uh your your textbook, uh, you know, what, uh, for undergrad finance or your MBA, you these moves should theoretically be priced into the markets, right? Yes. Um, we know at some point a vaccine is going to come. Whenever that's going to come, we don't know. And still, there's question marks of exactly, uh, again, all good news, but question marks of when that's actually going to be able to be distributed if it's two Q, three Q. But the market's supposed to be a discounting mechanism, right? Yeah. Um, so investors are now discounting the potential for those those earnings to be a lot better. Uh, than when that what they were, but what I would say again, the opportunity for traders here is, you know, look, unfortunately, uh, uh, co the, the COVID case count, hospitalizations, death count are still rising here in the short term. Um, so there's gonna, I think, still be a lot of volatility out there. Again, which is one of the reasons, uh, you know, w one of our uh, our newer ETFs is focused on the S and P 500 high beta index. This is a bull, a bull and bear pair. Uh, so. Uh, these are this is a 100 highest beta names in the S&P 500. Uh, what we're seeing today is tons of action uh, in both both sides. Uh, yes. HIBL, which is uh, the bull, and then HIBS, which is the bear, because in this basket, 
again, we're seeing traders take both both opinions today, uh, even though it's it's uh, significantly uh, outperforming, of course, on the long side. These are all of your names that have a 